Diane revealed that she's attracted to girls and that she wishes lesbianism was legalized in Nigeria. And as I was on shorts, following his baby girl behind and she was just picking clothes. She said, oh, this one looks nice on you. Like, I like that, you know. Hey people, how are you doing today? My name is Obianuju and this is a whole new episode of BB Ninja After Buzz where I drop all the buzz as he they hot. So stick around guys. It is still BB Ninja after Buzz. Abiyana J is still in the building, ready to dish out all the juice that you have missed in the lives of your favorite BB Ninja stars. Now, where do we even start from? I feel like my highlight this week has got to be Kid Wire and Erica. Yes. So they unfollowed each other on social media and it got people talking like they are fans. That Kidrika fan, they will not kill me because every time there's always one issue or another right from the house. You guys should stop giving us tension now. Well, fans even went on social media to start praying for Erica and Kidwaya, saying that there's nothing that will make that ship to drop. But what do you guys think? Earlier this week, Kidwire traveled to Turkey, Istanbul for the first time and he put it on his social media page. And Erica, on the other hand, had a meet and greet. So videos and pictures coming from this particular meet and greet was amazing. I mean, that girl has die-hard fans. Both mothers, oh, sisters, oh, everybody, they, they just love her so, so much. There were lots and lots of souvenirs there. And she was just there smiling like a baby girl that she is. Fans had lots of testimonies. Like there was this girl that came up to say that she wanted to kill herself, that she already cut her hand, oh, she was tired of this life. But then she just watched Erica's videos and she was inspired. Oh my days. I didn't know that Erica is now like a form of inspiration. But she just said that she is so inspired by Erica. There was even a lady that came and said that she and her husband had been fighting all because of Erica. Erica the Queen. But funny enough guys, nobody asked her about Kidwire. Now could this be a hint? Could it be a hint that maybe, just maybe, they are no longer together? Just as the rumors say. Well, somebody also asked her about her career, you know, what's next for Erica, what should we expect? And she's like, you guys should chill out. My fans, I they come, you know? I'm talking to a lot of directors, and before you know it, I'll be back in your screens. Now, still talking about the rumor ship. So, Kid Wire eventually traveled to London with his cousin, and then she posted a video on Instagram with the caption, no breakup zone here. Could this be a hint? I don't like the fact that these guys are breaking up and making up again. Like, you guys should please keep us on the same track with you, please. So guys, over to the next sheep, Ozo and Nengi. Who saw this sheep? You know when I said, Nengi said that, you know, she's not going to talk about her relationship with Ozo again because they both understand what they are doing. Well, a few days ago, they were spotted in a boutique right here in Lagos, Victoria Island. And as usual, Ozo was us following her about, follow the mud, I'm following her about. But who knows? I mean, for the fact that they went out in the morning, she was wearing a joggers with, you know, her normal top that she usually wears. And Ozo was on shorts, following his baby girl behind, and she was just picking clothes. She said, oh, this one looks nice on you. Like, I like that, you know. <laughs> so let's watch out for these guys. Who knows? They just might be the new Mary Kay. Now, over to Mary Kay. Rumors have been going that these two are no longer together. For those that have forgotten Mary Kay, I'm talking about Mercy and EK. Well, EK came on Instagram to say that he deserves more. He deserves better. You know, I'm not, I'm not all in for the guys, though, but whenever a guy comes out to say that he deserves more, I'm not, check it, that guy has been hot. Because they don't get to say it all the time. It's something that, that's like a girl's thing. That's like a girl's line. So if a guy says he just trust that guy that he has been hurt. He also came to say that he knows why Mercy is angry at him. And uh, it's because of the fact that he went out with Mengi. Now, in the comment section, people were now saying different things. Some people were saying that that's why Mercy has been forming Bestie with Erica just to pepper Nengi. Hey, this people will not kill me. Hey, what's happening? Now over to the next sheep, Gidoni and Kathy. So they blessed us with this beautiful picture of the both of them 
in London and then the caption said I wanted to be in London and he made it happen so yeah you don't need to cafe to London to celebrate her birthday how cute I feel like today all the news I've been giving you guys is just all about sheeps I am not like I stand for the no love zone but come on I love love who doesn't love love Prince officially joins his bestie quote-unquote Dorothy as a brand ambassador for skincare company VSP Botanics like these guys are like the real bestie ship they are winning together, they are slaying together, they are having fun together. I just love their friendship, trust me. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Lekon also joins Tatcha as a brand ambassador for Oppo mobile phones. <laughs> now for all of you that have been saying that Lekon is not getting deals, you should calm down. Hey dear, dear, small, small. Everybody's time is different. Nengi has been unveiled as the character in the much anticipated Rattlesnake movie. Now, which character do you think she would play in this movie? Let me know in the comment section. Also, Nengi and Ozo are up to something. Now, they have a project coming up together. But I am not going to spill right about now. I'm giving you guys the opportunity. Let me know what you think that project is. And if you're right, who knows? Next week, I just might gift you something. A few days ago, Lekon was in Abuja telling his fans, the icons, to come out for him. Also, Lekon, ha! Lekon was featured in Joe Boy's music video, Nobody, alongside DJ Neptune. Guys, see what I say about everybody's time is different. You guys should calm down. Like, this remix is amazing. Have you listened to it? You should just check it out because Lekon killed it back to back. If you haven't, you should check it out right now. Nobody Remix, Lekon, Joe Boy, and DJ Neptune. Tiwa Savage also features Tatcha in a new song, Ole. Now, for all of you hating on Tatcha, guys, it's time to already give up because that girl is winning as the day goes by. She keeps winning back to back. So please, stop all the vile and negative comments. All right? Good. So guys, before we move on to the next gist, and the next gist is actually hot. Just stick around, we'll go on a quick commercial break. Gift Oga is a gift card processing platform and marketplace. For personal use, you can buy, send, and redeem gift cards locally and internationally from genuine brands like Amazon, Apple, Google, to name a few. Gift Oga helps you conveniently manage your gift card from anywhere you are in the world on any device. And we have a number of outlets to choose from. As a merchant, that is, as a business or shop owner, both offline and online, you can sell your own gift cards and acquire more customers while generating revenue for your business. Because once a customer buys a gift card from you, it automatically generates revenue for your business. As an agent, all you have to do is resell available gift cards on Gift Oga and earn commissions. That way, you just sit at home and make more money. For corporates, you can buy gift cards in bulk for your staff. All you need to do is upload an Excel sheet of your staff details with their email addresses. And after that, each of them will receive the stipulated amount from the selected merchants. Easy peasy. Gift Oga is available on both Gift Oga app and Pay a Lot app. We are back, guys. It is still BB Ninja After Buzz. And make sure you find time to check out www.giftorga.com, the latest gift card marketplace. You should try it out. Now, this news is a shocker to some people. And to some people, they don't see that. Okay, it's normal, you know. This one is on Diane. When last did I talk about Diane? I feel like I've not even spoken about her in a very long time. But yeah, guys, in a question and answer session on Instagram, Diane revealed that she's attracted to girls and that she wishes lesbianism was legalized in Nigeria. Aha! Did it come as a shock? Now let's fast forward to when Diane was still in the house. Remember there was a time that she kissed Mercy. People were saying maybe she's just drunk, she's tipsy, she didn't know what was happening, it was just a mistake because of the drink and everything. And now she's coming out to say that she really, that she's attracted to women. 
<sighs> guys, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to be the one to say it with my mouth, but I feel like we have seen this thing before now that Diane always likes the girls. You know how she just touches people, stuff like that. Girls do it too, but <clears throat> I'm not saying anything again. Ziploc, let me know what you think in the comment section below on this. So guys, we have come to the end of the show this week. Like I always say, the show is over, but the conversation never ends. Be sure to join us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at BB Ninja After Buzz, and drop comments under this video. Make sure you do that. Repost, you know, share to a friend. Do this thing for us. The hustle is, you know, we're moving the hustle, so do it for us, all right? I hope to see you guys same time next week for more juice on BB Niger After Buzz. My name is Obiana Ju, and the show is powered by Montreal Rocks Communications. Big shout out to Kevin Black Creatives. I love you, all right? So guys, I'll see you next week. Be sure to put on the notification button right there. Bye.